limit. Something happens and you suddenly can go a little bit further. With your mind power, your determination, your instinct, and the experience as well, you can fly very high. podia concordar mais. McLaren, we have a very simple design philosophy, and that is everything for a reason, and the great design tells a great story. So every profile, every curve on this car has been designed for maximum driver engagement. I'm Robert Melville, Chief Designer for McLaren Automotive, and I led the design of the 720S. The story of the 720S all begins from the moment the air hits the car. Everything is designed to guide the air around the car as efficiently as possible. We've integrated dynamic LED headlamps into the eye socket as part of the aerodynamic system. The lens design is very upright and this allows us to create a quality of light output that's never been seen before in a supercar. As we move down to the side of the car, the key question was how do you cool 720 PS without any visible side intakes? So our answer was to unpeel the car. We've literally created two skins to the door. This allows us to separate the high energy air flowing over the front shoulder and down into this door duct from the more turbulent lower body side air. So it makes for a very efficient design in terms of cooling and in terms of drag. We're able to create very low drag design because we actually take the turbulent air and we took it into the body and that's why we have such a sculptural, such a sophisticated body side. One of my favourite bits of the exterior are the dihedral doors. And what we've done differently this time is to take the doors up and into the roof, making it very easy to step in and out of the car. Another key feature of the door is we've designed it to be 20 centimetres close to the body when fully open, so tight parking spaces are no longer a problem. The aim on the rear was to make the car look as wide and as muscular as possible, so we've really shrink-wrapped the aluminium body panels over the engineering package. Other key features would be the full width, fully integrated active rear wing, the ultra slim LED light blades, very purposeful twin mounted central exhausts, and then up on the rear deck here we have the visible engine bay. It's also illuminated so even at night you can see into all that fantastic engineering detail. And for the interior, the approach for cooling materials on this car was to really simplify the process by which the customer can define the look and feel of their vehicle. And of course, you can go to MSO for a further array of cooling materials options. One of the other key features on the interior is the driver display. It can go from a full screen and it can actually then fold away in race mode to just a very slim auxiliary screen with just minimal amount of distraction to the driver. A very clean dashboard allows you to focus on the driving experience. Being stood in front of the car now, you feel incredibly proud of what the whole team's achieved. We live, breathe and sleep these products. It's our passion. Both myself and the team can't wait to see the car out on the road. It really is a car that's been designed to be driven. I personally feel that the, the engine and the powertrain are the heart of a supercar. Except in the powertrain, it needs to deliver a whole entertaining engagement that is not just a brutal physical force. The sound is, a, is an element that is of paramount importance. You need to have a symphony. Dyno is a test group where we can put the engine through any possible load case. We push the engine way past what you can do in a car. All dyno testing is developed to try and break the engine. It, it, they're not nice tests. We can run the car for 48 hours around the Nürburgring without ever having to stop for fuel. Standing in the control room of the dyno, watching in on the engine running Nürburgring lap simulations is, is awesome. We're watching the boost pipes try and straighten out under the high pressure watching them push the charge coolers out in the engine and having to keep them restrained, watching it do simulated gear shifts and going into component protection and flames flying everywhere out the back of the exhaust, it's, it's, it's awesome. It's developing 720 PS and 770 newton meter of torque. It needs to go beyond the pure performance figure. It needs to uh, come with uh, passion and emotion.
every road car that McLaren has ever produced has used carbon fibre as its base structural material. That's a technology that we've taken from Formula One and introduced into road cars. A monocage is the primary vehicle structure which provides the occupant protection area and the main structure for the entire of the vehicle. The monocage concept was introduced on 650S and has evolved through P1 into Super Series. The monocage 2 weighs just less than 102 kilos and is assembled in-house here at McLaren and becomes the building block for the entire rest of the vehicle assembly. The monocage 2 really makes 720S unique in its segment. The 720S is a great expression of the carbon engineering that we have inside McLaren and allows the engineers here to really show their potential for what we're capable of delivering in carbon as a material. Our design team have done a fantastic job of the exterior styling of the 720S, but I think the real success is on the engineering detail on the inside of the car. In order to make a McLaren feel great on the road, of course, we have to test it on the road. We've done thousands of kilometers of testing in the new McLaren 720S. Hot weather in Arizona, cold weather in Sweden, every type of test track and race track around Europe, but every kind of road as well to make this an incredibly engaging car. The new car is more powerful than its predecessor. To go with that, we have more downforce, better cooling, better brakes, but at the heart of that, below the surface, is proactive chassis control too. Tireless development on tyres, damping, springs, the steering system, of course, has made this car a big improvement over the car that came before it. But the biggest leap has come in the software that controls that suspension system. It's an intelligent system that successfully balances the requirements of ride comfort and body control and handling dealing with road surface changes, challenging corners in a way that we've never seen before. Steering feel is incredibly important to us at McLaren. Steering on this car really builds on what we learned from P1 675LT in terms of delivering that feedback through the steering and the driver feel on every corner. It's two o'clock in the morning, it's pouring with rain, not great conditions, but I absolutely love driving this car. sound of a car, it's, um, it's part of its personality. It's the, the equivalent of the voice of a person. It's, it's part of its character. My name is Andreas Rusunelos, and I'm a senior NVH engineer at McLaren Automotive, which stands for Noise, Vibration and Harshness. We are responsible to deliver all the noise and vibration performance of the car. First of all, we start with a lot of calculations. We calculate a lot of different variants of exhaust. The ones in calculations, they give the right character to the car. These are the ones we actually build and test. It's very important for the cars to sound like McLaren cars. From the beginning, we wanted P14 to have a, an aggressive and loud sound, but at the same time to be a clear sound. Also what we tried to achieve was a dual character, if you like. We wanted the car to be comfortable to drive at uh, normal conditions, but when you're in a track, uh, we wanted the car to be as engaging as possible. I worked in 675LT and uh, 570S. I've seen the McLaren sound developing. I think the McLaren 720S has the best McLaren sound so far. Drifting isn't just about showboating and having fun. It actually teaches us quite a lot about the car and drives us in a direction that serves every driver on an everyday driving situation on the road. I'm Chris Goodwin, Chief Test Driver for McLaren Automotive. Bumpy braking areas, high speed straights, fast corners, 
slow corners and it's the type of challenges that a track like this throws up that the McLarens excel at and therefore are great cars to drive all around the world. We have a, a mid-engine car with a super stiff carbon fibre chassis. The development of our mono cell, the, the mono cage 2, is stiff, lightweight, allows the suspension to accurately do its thing and the control of that also and the development of the tyres are key in being able to drive a car to and over the limit, creating those nice perfect drifts, sustaining them, not going under or over the limit too much. All of that control, all of the ability for the car to balance its way along that tightrope. When you then drive slower, you're feeling all of that at low speeds. Over the limit driving really does serve a purpose, but it's pretty cool and great fun to do as well.